<clears throat> okay, so hi YouTubers and people who are watching this video. So today I'm gonna show you a game. The AK Kalashnikov AK 47 tactical phone staff version. Made by Mikhail Kalashnikov. So I'm just gonna bring you through all the bits and pieces and parts. So I'm just gonna show you the gun. So this is the gun. This is how it looks like. It's like this. That's the top. That's the barrel. We're going through all the way to the end. Now this gun is actually a fold stock. Which has a fold stock like this over here. Fold. The hop up is actually sitting just over here. See this over here? Just over here. There. Yeah. It has phone sights. See that one there? That's off the barrel. And the sights over here. Right, and these sights are adjustable. You can use them anywhere, and it has numbers on them as well. So, here's uh, the AK Kalashnikov. It's right there. Okay. Now, I think this sticker is a bit weird, but it's actually where I went there so often just to check if it's overpowered or not. Which is, my one's probably about 1.1 one joule. So, I bought this gun with grip. That's it there. The grip is foldable. You can fold it. Just have to press a button over here. There it is folded. So you can fold it up. Like that. Okay. Now I'm gonna move you through the mag. So the mag is actually I've read this in the internet, it's called a waffle mag because it's shaped like a waffle. It has these little things. Probably won't be able to see them. If you look looking closely, see all the things coming out. It looks like that. It looks like that's a waffle. And that's why they call it a waffle mag. It fits in 550 pellets. It's pretty a lot to go airsofting with. It just takes about four matches at least. Well, I prefer bring a bag of pellets, a full bag of pellets with about 10,000. Not even 10,000. Yeah, maybe like eleven or ten thousand with them, just in case. But you won't be able to waste your whole mine and so on. All them pellets right. This is how the gun looks with the mag in. That's it there. So I just so I'll oh, just put it in the background. That's it there. That's it there. Okay. My gun came with the rails. It has the rails over here. It has the rails over here. For, for the top rails, you might want to put on red dot side, uh, ACOG scope, or any of them. Or and for the bottom, you can put in. Is torch or torch over uh, the grip, which I just put on. Well, I bought I bought my gun with the grip. Okay, now I'm gonna bring you to the battery chair. Okay, so right. 
So this is the battery itself. It is it charges a bit for if you wanna take a four a full day if you're going to soccer. I prefer going this I prefer putting it on four four three and a half hours at least. And that's the best, not any lower. Okay, that's the battery. The eight point four battery. And it's one one thousand one hundred MAH. So you get one thousand one hundred shots out of the room if you charge a cord. Well I actually don't really mind about that so I don't really care. I think you want more shots. Then the little parts. This little thing over here is to adjust the sights over here. Just you might want to flick it over here. I'll just show you a closer look. See it over here. You might just want to flick it over here or change it how far you want. And there's another one. It's a black one. It's for the mag. I'm not really sure what it is, but what is it for? And here's a uh, quick instructions, which I got with the gun, and you can get um and you get another sheet with the law with it, and I got well, you you always have to get a rod, a uh, clean rod. That's what I call it. The little thing over here to clean your gun. I'll show you how to clean it. But not with little. You might have to put. See in this little thing over here, in this little hole. You might have to put in like a little cloth or something, if you uh, want to clean your inside of the barrel. I'd actually recommend you to clean it every single time after you go wear something. So you just put it in into the center of the barrel, into the hole where the barrel is. Just go till it goes to the very end. Then just push it up like that, and then you put it out. Put it up. Then that's so. This is the gun itself with the folding stock. Well, the fold, the fold, the stock folded. Looks actually a bit cool. Pretty cool. And. This is where it folded. Out. So I actually got I actually got this going in Hobby Airsoft, which is in Ireland. I'm not sure about any other countries, but I got this in Ireland. And there's not a few shops in like MIA or Air Airsoft or any of them. I'd ra I'd look look it up for good guns, and they're actually I'd actually recommend you getting this gun, cause uh, if you're a starter, I'd recommend you getting an AK74U, or if you have, cause I've been in around Began and they always for rental guns they have AK74 or G36. Well, I prefer AK74 for starters. But then if you've been like a few times in Rap Began mm -hmm. and you don't want to get an M uh, I mean uh AK seventy four, you just might just get this gun. It's actually my one of my friends got it. Yeah, and he really likes it. He got and it only cost well I bought it for hundred and sixty. It costs a hundred and eighty right now. Um, you might see this gun with a silencer at the end and then an ACOG scope, but I actually, when I bought it, there was no silencer or ACOG scope, so there's nothing there literally except the grip on the phone stuff. So, yeah, that's. And I've been on a begging airsoft in, like, two, uh, three times with my friends. And it's actually, this gun is actually really powerful. It's really accurate as well. It's just a legend. I don't know. That's it. Let's see.